Hello, this is Dave, and I'm going to talk about how to set up Coinbase with a bank account so we can buy crypto. So Coinbase is right there, coinbase.com, and you can put in your email address right here to get started, and you can get a free $5 in Bitcoin by doing this little promo. So I'm just going to do that. I could do it without the promo, but I'll just go ahead. So this is where we enter our account information. Put your first and last name and your email and your password. And then you can either choose your own password or use the auto-generated one. I'm going to use the auto-generated one. Don't forget to write it down. You might need it later, even though it can be saved in the browser like Chrome. I would definitely recommend writing it down. Okay, let's just go ahead and uh, click Create Account. Now that we know what we've got going, click Create Account. And this is where the password tries to be saved in the browser. I'm not going to do it. I wrote it down, so I got it for later. Okay, welcome to Coinbase. And we'll get the $5 in Bitcoin in about 24 hours. It takes a little bit of time. So let's just go ahead and continue on setting up the account. All right, so we've got to get the verification email. This will just keep cycling like that, waiting for you to do something, and that's go to your email. So we go ahead and go to our email account. This is the one we entered in with our account information. And we'll look for that verification email. There it is. And all we got to do is click the button to verify. And now we're verified. Now the next thing is to do the two-step phone verification. This is where it'll send something to your phone, a little code. So enter your phone number, and then when you're done doing that, go ahead and click Submit, and then you'll get this other box where you enter in the code. And I'll just go ahead and enter it, because it's just a one-time code. It can't be used again. So there it is. Enter it, submit it, and that will verify your account by the phone. So it's a two-step verification. All right, now we've done the two-step verification. Now we need to verify ourselves with an ID. And this can be either a driver's license or a state-issued ID. I'm going to use driver's license. And you can get it in by webcam, mobile camera, or just drag a file into these. So I'm going to drag a file into front and back for my driver's license. Had it on my computer already. Then I just click verify, and it will verify my ID as long as the picture is pretty sharp and clear. Okay, now I'm back in the email, and there it is. It shows that I have verified my ID. That's all there is to that. Now we've got to do a payment method. This is where we attach a bank account. Now there's several ways to do this. One way is you can go in here and choose a bank, and then actually log on to your bank. And I don't like doing that because that reveals my username and password in my bank account, and I don't want to do that. Not secure. So let's start again, add a payment, go to bank account once again, and you can use a debit card or wire transfer as well, but I'm just using bank account. This time, instead of hitting continue, cancel out of this with the X, and you'll be taken to another section where you can verify your bank account a different way. And this way is to enter your routing number and your account number. And once you get your account number and your routing number in there, I'll go ahead and start to type it in. I don't want to really show what it is. But I'll just start to type it in, and then I'm going to click Verify. And now it's gone off to be verified. And they're going to send, uh, make a deposit and a withdrawal of two small amounts to my bank account and I'll have to go to my bank statement which I'll get later I can log on and look at my account actually and get it after about a day or two and then I can click verify and go in here and enter those two small amounts so I should be getting those two small amounts after a while and once I get them I can enter them in here it's just a deposit and a withdrawal so your bank account doesn't change as far as the value 
Okay, so that's all there is to it. I'm just waiting on that. And in the next video, I'll go ahead and show how to use the bank account to buy some cryptocurrency. But for now, that's where we're at, just waiting for those two small amounts on my bank statement. So talk to you later. I hope this was helpful. I tried to keep it as short as I could. Hope it wasn't too fast. But you can always pause the video and look at what I did. All right. See you in the next video.